Welcome to Real Filmmaking. My name is Corey, and today we're talking about slow motion video with the Canon M50. Now, I love the M50. I've done lots of videos about it here on the channel, but today I want to talk about slow motion video and how you can easily set this up on your M50 to get some really cool looking videos, whether you're doing stuff like narrative filmmaking or trying to shoot product B-roll. Slow motion really can come in handy in some situations. Before we get into setting up your camera to shoot slow-mo video, I just want to give a brief overview for those of you who might not know about slow motion video, or maybe this is your first time getting into it. So conceptually, slow motion video is when we're out shooting video, you are shooting at a higher frame rate, so the camera is capturing more images, you take that footage and you put it into a slower frames per second timeline. So let's say 24 frames per second. So if I shoot footage like 60 frames per second and I pull that into a 24 frames per second timeline, I have more frames to play back over a shorter period of time. Thus, it allows me to create a slow motion effect because I have more frames to fill the 24 frames. I have 60 frames to play back over that space. So that is what gives you the exaggerated motion, everything seems slow. That whole effect is caused, honestly, by a pretty cool math problem. <laughs> so that's the basics of slow motion video. Now let's get into how to set up your camera to do slow-mo video. So to get slow motion set up on the Canon M50, there's a couple different ways that you can do it, but I'm just gonna show you this way from the basic menu. You're gonna to wanna to hit the menu button, and then on the first page, you're gonna to wanna to go here to movie record quality. When you click that, you can choose what frame rate that you wanna record in. So you know you've got 4K, you've got HD 60 frames, you've got 30 frames per second, you've got 24 frames, but we're gonna use 60 frames per second HD. So now I'm back in my menu and I can see right here from my info display that I'm recording at 60 frames per second. If you don't see that, you can just hit the info button and it'll cycle through all your different display options. So now that we're filming at 60 frames per second, we're gonna wanna make sure to double our shutter speed. This is gonna give us the most natural motion blur, especially when we are slowing this footage down in post. Now I'm gonna change my shutter speed. The closest I can get is 1 25th of a second. And as you can see, it's gotten a little bit darker. You need lots of light to expose when you're doing slow motion video because you have to crank the shutter. So I'll just go right here and got a pretty fast lens on here. Drop it down to F2. Got a good looking exposure. And now I'm good to go. Another slow-mo setting that you can get on the Canon M50 is the 120 frames per second mode. So if I go back into my menu and I hit the same movie record quality setting, I can go down here where it says high frame rate and it says disabled. So click that, hit enable, and now you are shooting at 120 frames per second. So again, make sure we need to double our shutter speed. So the closest we can get to 120 doubled is 250. So as you can see, my image is a little underexposed now. So I'm gonna drop down my aperture and kick up my ISO a little bit to get me back to a pretty similar exposure. So I hope you found this video helpful in getting your M50 set up to shoot in 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second to get some really cool looking slow motion footage. The two biggest things I would say when you are shooting slow motion video is to make sure you have tons of light. You need lots of light to expose your image because you're shooting with higher shutter speeds and higher frame rates. So you just need more light to get a correctly exposed image. And the second thing, like I mentioned about shutter speed, make sure you always double your shutter speed. So if you're shooting 60 frames per second, make sure you have 125th of a shutter. If you're shooting 120 frames per second, make sure you have 250th of a shutter. This is gonna give you the most natural looking motion blur. And this is gonna be particularly important because when you slow it down, if you don't have the right shutter speed for motion blur, it's gonna look really off. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to Real Filmmaking for more content about 
filmmaking, storytelling, creative process coming on a weekly basis. And for something a little bit different, I'm gonna leave you with a commercial that I shot recently using the Canon M50 and all the slow motion stuff I was talking about today. So, hope you enjoy.